G'day folks, MBS here. Well, today we've been called in to have a look at this little beauty, a little nice look looking piranha. Um, it uh, broke down in New South Wales somewhere and it's just been transported back up into Townsville and uh, he's called me over to diagnose what's going on with it. It drives, it goes, seems to go okay. Um, blowing a lot of oil, okay. The, um, he was blowing a lot of smoke and uh, decided to yeah, call it quits and get it to, um, towed back home. All right, so we're here to diagnose it, or quick diagnosis what the possible cause might be for the blow-by. I think it's got blow-by. I, like, I haven't even touched it yet. Um, so we're going to do the very first thing I do when I'm looking at a car to check the mechanical condition, and that's a compression test. And it's not a manual compression test, it's by ear. All right, now I'm half deaf, but hopefully uh, I'll be able to hear this, and you hopefully might be able to pick up on the mic when I bring the mic a bit closer. All I'm going to do is disconnect the coil, okay? We take out the main coil lead, and we place it up onto the brake uh, hose there. Um, no fuel around or everything, so that's quite safe. And all I'm going to do is open the throttle up, let some air get into the engine, and crank it. And have a listen to the starter motor. All right, and that'll tell us if it's got six good compressions. So uh, I'll reposition the camera, we'll do that, and uh, have a listen. Okay, we're in neutral, and brakes on. We'll open up the throttle a little bit, and crank it over. Did you hear that? I hope it came out clear. And that, my dear people, is how you do a compression test by sound. Okay. Uh, obviously, when I had a workshop, um, I could back this up with a proper compression test by cutting, uh, by doing a cranking test, having a clamp on the battery lead, and we will check the current draw of each stroke of each cylinder. That would actually narrow it down to which cylinder it is. But since I haven't got an oscilloscope, we're going to have to do this manually. And we're going to do a, a power balance test. We're just going to pull one lead off at a time. Once I fire it up, we're going to find out which cylinder it actually is. Okay, what I've done is I've actually pulled all the leads off and refitted them just loosely. So they're still making contact, but I don't have to pull on the lead so hard to uh, take it back off. Now we'll put our main coil lead back on so it actually fires up now being cold it um, it's not going to run too well so i'm going to warm it up first or close to warm up and uh, you can see the oil on the tapper cover uh, all coming out of the breather so once it warms up i suspect that when we take the pcv bit valve out of the tapper cover it's going to be chopping out smoke so uh, if it's got blow-by, then we're looking at rings. It's not a valve problem, okay? So we haven't got a burnt-out valve, uh, so we're looking at the bottom end. And uh, to really diagnose the bottom end uh, better, like it could have a hole in the piston, or it could be just a cracked ring, broken ring, something like that. But with a proper compression test, you can actually narrow that down between the two. So if we squirt oil into the bore, and do a compression test and the compression comes up then it's uh, rings more than likely uh, if there's a hole in the piston that oil isn't going to stop anyway so uh, your compression would still stay low but I haven't got a compression tester with me and it's probably irrelevant for, for us or for him to even bother knowing exactly what it is because we'll find that out when we tear it down uh, so that'll be another job for me rebuilding this engine look out for that one in the next 12 months or so. Um, Alright, so we'll get this thing fired and we'll uh, warm it up and then we'll find out which actual cylinder it is.
disappointing it hasn't got a cam in it. <laughs> Alright, so let's take off number six. Got 40 RPM. Okay, there you go. Diagnosis 90% complete uh, without a compression test. Uh, I don't know exactly what the problem is with the bottom end. Could be a hole in the piston, could be uh, broken rings, could be uh, a split down the side of the piston, who knows. This has also got a little bit of a ticking noise. It sounds to me like a, a hydraulic lifter tappet noise. Uh, so one could have come loose or it could even be one of them on that cylinder, for all we know. But uh, yeah, we'll be pulling this one down and uh, we will get further details on that somewhere down the track after we dismantle it and we'll find out exactly what's going wrong. Alright, so as you can see, it's very easy to tell if, you, if your engine is mechanically sound as far as compressions go. In my business, that's the first thing I did for most of my tune-ups. I would take the customer outside, disconnect the ignition or the fuel, crank it over. If he sounded like he had six good compressions, uh, book her in for a tune-up. If it was down on one compression or two, I would tell them straight away, I cannot tune that, but if you'd like me to find out what's wrong with it, we will do tests, various tests, and maybe compression tests, and tell you exactly what you're up for. Uh, and yeah, then I'd get the work for repairing the engine. But uh, alright folks, I hope you found that entertaining. Um, somewhere in the next 12 months, I'll be doing this engine. Catch you in another video.